Whitney Eichinger serves as Southwest Airlines Vice President of Culture and Engagement. In her role, Whitney ensures that culture remains at the heart of Southwest business. She leads company initiatives designed to better understand, support, and engage employees across all work groups throughout their Southwest career. Whitney first joined Southwest in 1999, serving as a media spokesperson and leader on Southwest Communications team. In 2014, Whitney moved to Michigan and led a global communications team at Ford Motor Company, followed by serving as Director of Communications and then Vice President Communications at Bedrock and Rock Ventures. In 2019, Southwest was excited to welcome Whitney back to lead the culture and engagement department. Welcome, Whitney. Hey, everybody. I'm Whitney Eichinger. I'm the Vice President of Culture and Engagement here at Southwest Airlines. I'm so excited to be here with you guys today, and I am excited to talk to you all about engagement and how we do it at Southwest. I know it's a really hot word that a lot, hopefully you're learning about um, in your classes, but um, know that it's a hot word out in the communication world. Uh, how we engage our employees really ends up being how our brand is reflected with our customers. And then of course, how we retain and attract employees to Southwest. So let's head on over and see what we're gonna talk about today. First of all, I wanna go through employee recognition because appreciating your people is so important when it comes to corporations. I'm sure you guys would all love to work for a company where you felt appreciated. So I'm lucky to be able to get to work on that for Southwest. Um, a company who cares. I know a lot of decisions about employees staying or being attracted to a corporation includes knowing that that company not only cares about you, but cares about the environment, cares about the planet, cares about running a sustainable operation. Um, so we keep that in mind and then creating lifelong customers. Uh, we've got some great insight into what we do to attract and retain our customers. And then of course, sharing the love. How can we get away without saying sharing the love? Love is our ticker symbol. You'll see the heart on the belly of our aircraft. You'll see it inside the plane and on everything that we do. So Southwest Airlines is the airline with heart. Um, and I want to show you guys a little bit about that. So when it comes to employee recognition, not sure much, how much you guys are learning about that, but employee recognition is so important. And something over the last couple of years that's been important to Southwest is how do we make sure that we tailor our recognition appropriately to employees. You know, of course, we've got employees that are just joining us um, to date in 2022. So far this year, we have hired 10,000 employees, if you can imagine that. So there's a lot of employees at Southwest that it's important to know how are they recognized their first month at the company? How are they recognized the first six months? How are they recognized after being here for a year? But then you've also got our more tenured employees that have been here for a really long time. So you wanna make sure you're meeting them where they are to recognize them for all the milestones that are happening in their life. So one of the things that's worked for us is doing some employee recognition. So that comes from what you see here is some examples of employees or customers actually riding into the company to explain why someone's done an amazing job, why an employee had helped them, and what it meant to them, and while they'll always continue to be here working at Southwest or flying Southwest, it's a great way to be able to tell those stories. Now, what we do with that is we collect those every month. Well, we collect them all the time, actually, but every month we broadcast those, communicate them to the entire company so other employees can see, oh, wow, not only does headquarters know what's going on in the field, but we really are a company that appreciates a job well done and calls employees out for doing this great work with customers. We've had amazing stories. We had a flight attendant who was just flying to Hawaii on our first trip, meaning trips we call, you know, that would be your shift that you're working. And she got to the hotel and another flight attendant who lived in Hawaii dropped off guava juice at her door. So when she walked out of her hotel room, you know, kind of thinking about being at work, like your first day at school, um, she was able to be welcomed with something that was local to Hawaii. And that story is just one of kindness. We have had employees save customers' lives. 
We've had employees get on board the aircraft to take a customer that may have needed a travel companion that didn't have one and fly to that destination. We have just a note last week that I got with an employee who wanted to buy a ticket for a terminally ill child who was flying to treatment back and forth between Austin and it's just amazing to make sure that we are telling those stories so as you are learning to be a great communicator it's always important to make sure that you're communicating the things that are happening at your organization both internally and externally uh, i have a long career in external communications so i was a spokesperson did external at several different in several different companies and I never really imagined myself doing internal communication, but when you get to celebrate things like this and you get to make sure that our employees know what the great work that we do really makes an impact on our customers, it's important. So what we do along those lines once we get these it letters in and we send them out to the company. We go through and about three times a year, we bring employees in that have made a huge difference either with coworkers or with um, our customers. And we bring them in and they meet with our CEO. We have a fabulous awards ceremony. It's casual. We tell the story. The employees are there and bring a guest with them and they're able to be celebrated and we have a great time and do a ceremony and all of that. So it's a really great way to make sure employees know that they are seen by leadership, that we understand what they're doing on a day-to-day -day basis, and we thank them so much for having customers return to Southwest over and over again. So knowing probably like many of you are, um, when you think about working for a company, you want to know that you work for a company that cares. So there's a lot of things that go along with that. And today I wanted to talk to you all about social topics. So that is a list of topics that come to Southwest that we make sure that we get involved in. You know, there's a lot of things to get involved in. So we get asked all the time, you know, if you're gonna get in with bathroom legislation, which happened a couple of years in Texas, if we're gonna get involved, you know, when it comes to abortion rights, if we're gonna get involved when it comes to human trafficking, so what we had to do as a company is establish what is our list of criteria that we're going to get involved with so we know that we can basically, when an issue pops up, send that through this social topics filter, which is a group of senior executives that they meet monthly to be able to talk through what issues they want to get um, involved with. So when you think about social advocacy, you think about what is the airline within the industry? What can we affect? And why would we specifically get involved? So types of issues, the number of issues, you know, with all of the laws that are changing and all of the big, huge, emotional and legal um, issues that come up, where are we going to engage and when does it make the most sense? And what are the expectations of our employees and our company? So we want to make sure that those two things match up. So when you look at what our social topics team goes through, we evaluate, we review, we propose responses. So if you might imagine, we need to have media responses ready when we get asked questions about, for instance, Roe versus Wade. We need to be ready when we want to stand up on a topic. Southwest, unfortunately, is used um, as we are a method of transportation. So human trafficking can happen on board our aircraft. And so we have partnered with many of the civil groups that are supporting eliminating human trafficking. And then we actually have <clears throat> Put up signage in our labs in our restrooms um you call them labs but when we in our restrooms that you're able to see how to get in touch if you're in a human trafficking situation so it's messaging that you've seen in a lot of the bathrooms around but that made a lot of sense for southwest because we do run into those issues um, and then when we're able to be able to get the senior executives perspective we don't know every issue that's going to come up there'll be issues in the future that we haven't thought of, but we do have this group together so that internally for communication, externally for communication, and at an executive decision level, we know how to handle each issue that comes in the door. And so when you think about being able to create, and then just going back on that slide for a second, when you think about these responsibilities, a lot of times when you, when I talk to groups or when we're meeting with employees, they wanna know, are you gonna get behind this issue? And it can range from anything from, being able to help out with a natural disaster, like say the wildfires in Colorado um, last year, or could we 
and probably this year, honestly, but or are we going to get involved with something that might have happened when it comes to state and local legislation, or it could be federal legislation. And so we tried to definitely think of what would our employees want us to do, but then how are we weighing in on each issue, and then where are we not you know, getting ourselves involved and standing out as an airline. So it's a tricky, um, it's a tricky, you know, issue to deal with, but it's something that we make sure that we know what impact or perception it's going to have with our customers and employees. And when we make a stance, we make it really, really loudly. And then creating lifelong customers. This is one of my favorites. So I tell this story because it's so amazing and so true. Um, and we had a customer that was on board and this speaks to just what sort of employees are we hiring at Southwest? Um, the woman that you see in the picture with the lights around her neck, that is one of our first officers, Kristen McKenzie. She uh, was flying back from training, actually, and she was at an airport in Ohio. She wasn't flying Southwest. She was flying United. You can see the headline on here. And she, they were having a mechanical on United. So these two guys that you see at the Super Bowl, they were flying from Ohio because, of course, they were in the Super Bowl this year in L.A. They were trying to get to L.A. and they were delayed hours and hours. And so this was their lifelong dream. You know, you don't know how many times that you're going to be from Ohio and be able to get your team to the Super Bowl. Um, but these were big fans wanted to make sure they made it. They were getting stressed out. Well, this flight, this, sorry, this um, pilot stepped off and she actually talked to the flight crew and then was able to understand what the issue was gonna be. She shared with them some updates while they were on board. She, they get off the plane. She not only gives them one of her discount codes. So at Southwest, we have a discount code where we're able to get a percentage off of some fares. She gave that to these two guys bought their ticket, and then I'm sure you guys can imagine if you're flying southwest from Ohio to LA, you may have a few stops in there. So she alerted the flight crew um, at every one of those stops. So even when they changed planes or changed crews, the crews welcome the guys on board. Now, what we didn't know, and she just did this out of the kindness of her heart. It's not something that we train employees to do. But then this customer went and wrote, this wild headline that I promise is not ours, but United sucks, Southwest rocks, and brand matters more than ever. And it was he, it was a great piece. He posted it on LinkedIn. Um, he happened to work for a media company, and he had this tremendous experience. And this photo that you see him at the football game, um, he was actually there. He sent that back to Kristen. So first officer Kristen did an amazing job. It just speaks to the type of company that we are. It speaks to who we are attracting as an organization, and it's speaks to just really seeing something, listening, and then knowing that you have the power to change it and helping some customers um, that may have been taking United for the last time become lifelong Southwest customers. It's an amazing story. And then I want to get to sharing the love. So this is what, how Southwest, of course, keeps our employees engaged. So I've told you about how we recognize them. I've told you about how we take stances on things that matter to our employees and our customers. I showed you a little bit about how we make sure that our employees are engaged um, when they're, when, of course, when they come here and they really take ownership, which was the first officer story that I just shared. But then I want to show how we feature our employees. So over the holidays, that was the first time. So this past year, so the uh, December of 2021, that was when our employees uh, were, or customers were first starting to get back in large volumes um, on board the plane and travel to see their loved ones for the holidays. So it was such an amazing time and we wanted employees to feel comfortable. So we used our employees in these pieces and it was called Holiday with Heart. So we wanted to have an employee partnered with someone in their life or a customer that they had helped to be able to say, create a message of it's safe to fly, you know, our uh, employees are like family and be able to share that on all of our social channels. So we shared it on LinkedIn, put it on Instagram. We were able to share it in all of our paid um, channels too. So it's been really amazing. So today I wanted to show you guys a couple of more examples of what that looked like. So our first video is a pilot who has a super fan with him. So let me play that. We met on a flight with a divert due to weather. 
worked in the military. I was involved in an accident where I had to eject at a supersonic speed. I just found it amazing that he still wanted to fly, and I wanted his autograph. I knew it was important because he's never asked for anything like that. When we landed, it was really late at night. You woke up somewhere in baggage claim uh, and said, where's the autograph? <laughs> I could have mailed him an autograph, and I said, well, I'm in the state. I'll, I'll drive it by their house if that's okay with them. My mom told me to answer the door. Captain Udell was standing there. It's not pretty cool. It's extremely cool. <laughs> I'm going to remember it for the rest of my life. You get one shot at life. So if you have the opportunity to have a positive influence on someone else, you don't pass it up. It's a really great story. So this pilot was on board. Um, he was doing an announcement, telling some stories. And then um, one of our customers, a young customer, he was um, on board and was so inspired by the story, like you heard there, that he wanted to get our captain's autograph. But he had fallen asleep on the plane change crews and then he woke up when he was in baggage claim and he'd missed the autograph and so his mom had written in and this captain udell he got the note and he wanted to deliver it to him in person so he drove to his house and surprised him with the message and it was just really really impactful and i promise i'm only going to show you one more but it's really great so let me get to that one it's such a great feeling to be able to make someone's day kindness spreads it's it contagious. Southwest definitely encourages us to spread the love. And when we find out someone is celebrating something, we go all out. I remember we were flying together and this girl with a bride sash was... was on her way to her bachelorette trip and I was about ready to go on my bachelorette trip. I had also just gotten engaged. So I was like, this girl is going to get a bachelorette party. We started making a pretzel crown and Jordy presented her with her bouquet. The bride was so excited. She even practiced throwing it. Yeah. The customer is why we're here, so we got to make sure that they're taken care of and they're okay, and to go above and beyond for them. So that was another great example. It was two flight attendants that were just on board noticing that there was a customer going to celebrate her bachelorette party, took the opportunity to make a big deal of it, celebrate with it. You know, one of the flight attendants was engaged herself, so it made it really, really special. And uh, these employees are just saying, you know, I know we're here for the customer. And this is not something that we train. It's not something that you go through. It's just the spirit of the organization and the culture that we keep strong and the way that we keep our employees engaged with our mission that really helps us ex execute all of the facets of our brand. So we could not do it without our employees. Um, we treat them right. They do a great job for Southwest. And then of course our customers reap the benefits of that. And then that helps our shareholders. Um, but I think that's my last slide today. Um, I'm so glad that I could be here with you all. I hope you have questions. Um, I know you're able to get my contact information. I hope you'll reach out to me if you have any follow-up. Um, and then of course, as an aside, we're always hiring for interns. So keep your eyes on that southwest.com backslash careers page and look for those intern opportunities for spring, fall and summer, of course. Thanks so much for having me. And I hope you all fly Southwest and I hope you know the reason that we're having such a good experience on board our aircraft is all because we have highly engaged employees. Thanks so much.